Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 5-30 from RC Hippeller Engineering Statics 12 edition. According to this problem, if the force of F equals to 100 LB is applied to the handle of the power bender, determine the horizontal and vertical components of reaction at pin A and the reaction of the ruler D on the smooth parts. So to solve this problem, we have to draw all the support reaction and the known and unknown forces. So at point A, I have a pin support. So I have two reactions, one vertical reaction and one horizontal reaction. Let's call this AX and this is AY. I have a normal reaction due to this roller, which is perpendicular to this bar. This is NB. Let's call this NB. And now I have this force. So if I draw some lines here, Then what we are considering is that this force F, if I draw this, this force right here F is perpendicular to this axis. Let's call this Y dash. So what we are considering is force F is perpendicular to the Y dash axis. Because there is no angle given to us, so we are considering that force F is perpendicular to the Y dash. Now, this angle right here is 60 degrees. Because right here we have been given an angle from the horizontal. Let's call this X axis. And with respect to this, this angle right here is 30 degrees. Now I can resolve this force into its components. So I have one vertical component and one horizontal component. So let's call this F sin 30 and this is F cos 30 degrees. Now we can apply the equations of the equilibrium. So I have first equation of the equilibrium, which is sum of the forces in y direction equal to zero. I am considering up direction as positive. So I have a y minus f sine thirty degrees equals to zero. So I have a y is equals to f sine 30 degrees and F is given which is 100 LBs so AY came out to be 50 LBs this is our first answer now I have one more equation of the forces which is sum of the forces in X direction equals to 0 I am considering right hand, right hand side as positive so I have F cos 30 degrees minus NB plus AX is equals to 0. Now F is 100 LBs. So we have AX minus NB is equals to 86.6 
let's call this equation a now i have two unknowns but only one equation so for that i have to form one more equation so our third equation is sum of the moments about point a is equal to 0 i am considering clockwise moment as positive now why i have selected point a because at point a i have maximum numbers of unknowns ax and ay so if i sum up the moment at point a then the forces ax and ay will not produce any moment about point a because they are passing through it so they have no moment arm about point a let's see if i write here ax and ay will not produce any moment because they are passing through point a so i have this force f right here this is force f which is 100 lbs so i have 100 into its moment arm from the point a this right here is point a so moment arm of the force f from the point a is 40 inches so it is 40 now force f is trying to rotate in the clockwise direction so it is taken as positive then i have one more force which is the normal reaction but i can also resolve this nb force into its components so to draw the components of the force nb let me zoom in and we have right here we are right here so if i draw some lines then if i extend the force nb a little backwards then this angle right here is 60 degrees which means this angle is also 60 degrees because they are vertically opposite angles this is 60 degrees now this if this is 60 degrees then this angle must be 30 degrees now i can resolve the components of the force nb so i have one component right here and one component like this or let's call this nb sine 30 degrees and this is nb cos 30 degrees since cos component is passing through point a because if i extend the cos component a little backwards so you can see that it passes through point a so it will not produce any moment about point a but the sign component can produce a moment about point a because if i draw a projection of the sign components right here this is the sign component let me write it here that this is nb sine 30 degrees this component is producing a moment at about point a and it has a moment arm of 5 inches and this is trying to rotate the assembly in counterclockwise direction so it will be taken as negative so i have i zoom out and i have plus sorry minus and b sine 30 degrees into the moment arm which was 5 inches so 5 equals to 0 
from here and B is equals to 1600 LPs. This is our second answer. Now put and B is equals to 1600 LPs in equation A. Our equation A becomes Equation A becomes AX is equals to here is the mistake in this equation A that it has to be negative because we have shifted a positive value to the other side. So we have negative 86.6 plus 1600. So it will become 1513.4. LBs. So AX is equals to 1513.4 LPs. This is our third answer. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.